I mean, that's, that's just world class. Oh, Simultaneous Muay Thai and kickboxing champion. Holy moly! A record number of title defenses. Oh, got him. The longest winning streak in one championship. Rechian Ersol has dominated the world's biggest striking arts league for over five years, effortlessly steamrolling the best representatives from Thailand, <laughs> Russia, <laughs> and the rest of the planet. Having amassed a streak of 22 consecutive victories, the Immortal is the only man who defends his championship belts in two different sports simultaneously. It's time to take a close look at the relentless warrior of the ring, who has a rightful claim to be called the best striker of today. An elbow, another elbow and a right hand and that's it. Rehian was born in South America, in the capital of Suriname, and moved to the Netherlands with his family at the age of four, finding a new home in Amsterdam. Mesmerized by watching K1 tournaments, he developed a serious passion for kickboxing. Settling in in the 170-pound division, the 24-year-old Rehian made an impression as a pro at a tournament in Moscow. Right from his early outings, he preferred to be the aggressor. making good use of his size and smoothly putting together punches with sharp knees. In addition, he was happy to work in the clinch, which spelled trouble for his opponents. Despite his eagerness to take the front foot, Ursel could smoke people on the counter just as well. <laughs> Equipped with a solid gas tank, he only increased the pressure as the rounds progressed. <laughs> Apart from outstanding physical attributes, Rechian also stood out for his creativity. Ersel traveled across different countries, adding to his track record. He steadily climbed towards the upper echelons of kickboxing. His brutal style and refusal to sit down during breaks earned him the nickname, The Immortal, and Ersel built a whole identity around it. Continuing his world tour, in the spring of 2016, Rechian found himself in the American promotion Lion Fight. The newcomer was set to face Joe Nottawat, a Muay Thai world champion, undefeated for the past three years. Ten points. Oh, there's the right hand! Accepting the bout on just two weeks' notice, the Surinamese prospect opened as a huge underdog. Firmly intent to shock the audience, Ursula immediately threw a 1-2. Big right hand early from him. Added more punches the to the mix. To these two. And started testing the high kick. Loves it glued to his head. Oh. High kick. Start to see. Hard. Having established his range, he chinned the foe in the second. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Slicing through the guard with an elbow, the immortal followed up with a powerful cross. Shaking it off, the tie fighter tried to catch up. Round Gusto about smoking Joe Nutterwatt now. Later, he switched to wrestling, aiming to finish each tie up with a throw. Another dump here from Smoking. Come fifth round, things were even on the scorecards. Boy. But they were not needed that night. That's, that's just world class. Oh! In the first round, I had him with the high kick, but it became on his chest. So I knew, okay, with the high kick, I have to aim higher because his hands were dropping when he, he avoided the punches. And I knew, okay, I just need one moment. After obtaining his first elite scalp, Rehian continued marching up the ranks.
finding worthy opposition became increasingly challenging. The ambitious DeWitt Pratt vowed to stop the Surinamese Reaper. He's hurt. Oh, jumping me! But fell flat on his face. Oh, got him. He is vicious. Rocking him with a knee in the clinch, the Flying Dutchman added a right hand on the button for good measure. Still champion, Regia! World kickboxing champion Sergey Brown got going with a solid check hook. Opportunity. And started believing in himself. Nice right hand. There's a block. Until a knee smashed into his gut. One more touch is all it took to make a well done liver steak. Holy moly! Brown never recovered from the pain. Wow! Richiam, the immortal! With a record of 49 wins, just four decision losses, and a bunch of regional titles, in early 2018, Ursel signed an agreement with one championship. Unlike other players in the industry, the Asian powerhouse featured multiple disciplines, including MMA, kickboxing, and Muay Thai. Choosing the kickboxing route with big gloves, the Surinamese upstart joined the 170-pound division. In his debut, the 25-year-old Rehian faced the future UFC Top 15 contender, Brad Riddell, who came into the bout with a 59-10 kickboxing record. The Immortal worked from a distance, pumping snappy kicks. Riddell, on the other hand, sought to get in close, trying to bomb the midsection. Ursel employed his beloved knees in the second stretch. Shot from Brad Riddell. Jab two again. There's a hook in the right hand. And realize those push kicks. After a series of pinpoint offerings, the intensity up here from competed. Only about a month of the New Zealander's body began to falter. So a very quick turn around. Oh, In the third round, the undaunted Riddell tried to mount a comeback, but his enthusiasm vanished quickly. That's the pace Riddell's got to keep in this third round because Rehian masterfully disrupted the enemy attacks, preventing Brad from closing the distance. He controlled the flow of the fight throughout. And celebrated a unanimous victory. Bursting into the rankings, the Surinamese stepped back into the ring three months later. On the other side stood the seasoned MMA and kickboxing veteran Anthony Njokuani. The athletes agreed to wear small gloves. First taking control of the center, Ursel let the legs fly. Yuji Shimada returning to the seasoned and Joe Kwani figured out his opponent's timing and started to catch the kicks. The immortal then switched to boxing offense. And here comes the wrecking ball. And soon whispered good night. Right hand smack back to the kisser. And Joe goes down. Shimada puts the count on. It's good night, Irene. Wobbling the adversary with an elbow, Rehian entered the clinch and rendered Anthony half-conscious. It became clear that a new beast had arrived to the one roster, but few could have imagined the extent of his future dominance. Having impressed his employer, Rehian earned a shot at the vacant title in his third outing. The guy across was none other than... Niki Holtzkin. The spectacular Dutchman was a K-1 veteran. A dominant champion in glory. Racked up 50 knockouts. And was named the best kickboxer of 2015 and being 13-0 in professional boxing, even challenged for the WBC strap. Now creating his legacy in the one championship cage. 
Ursel looked to set the pace, constantly landing one twos. Skin. Great start from both these men. Nice right. Holtzkin wasted no time in going for a spin. And whipped the midsection. Ursel could not. Rechian kicked off the second frame with a long flurry. And parried the subsequent front kick. The unflappable Dutchman checked the liver. But later hit the demilitarized zone. Readjusting his aim, he finished the round with a precise back kick and continued pushing until the break. In the third stretch, Ursel unleashed his signature weapons. Breaking into close quarters, he actively utilized his knees. By consistently varying his targets, the Immortal effectively overwhelmed the opponent's defense. While peppering strikes to all levels, Good combination work again, the output, the work right here. Rechian was actually looking for the headshot. Jumping me! And soon pulled the trigger. Confusing the veteran with chaotic offense, the Surinamese hitman drilled his chin with a picture perfect knee. Ursel was about to seal the deal. Holtz gets ready. Holtz ready to go down. But there's enough time left in the round. Here comes the naked Ursel. The knees again. Holtz gets a shaken man. But time was running out. He'll come back out for the. Not willing to wave the white flag, Holtzkin landed a hook early in the fifth. Right now, and charged in with a knee of his own. Giving up the center. He's got to turn it on right now. Rechian focused on counterattacks. In the closing stages, the Dutchman delivered a high kick and clawed out the last seconds of the match. He tries with the left. After 15 minutes of high-tech warfare, Ursel emerged as the winner by unanimous decision. Having defeated a truly elite foe, at the age of 26, he claimed the most prestigious title in modern kickboxing. A new era had begun. Everybody thought I would lose the fight. Most of the people didn't know me. Nicky, they knew Nicky Hoskin because he was the glory champion. So they knew him, but they didn't know me. And they thought like, oh, he will lose it because, you know, they, he's a nobody. But I knew myself. However, the first encounter left questions that only a sequel could answer. A heated debate arose over the incident involving a low blow, where many did not see it as a foul. Irritated by accusations of faking, Rechian was determined to put an end to the controversy. Nikki started out with low kicks and attempted a back fist. These guys are hundreds of hundreds of matches. The champion aggressively pressed forward, blending punches and knee strikes. Increasing the tempo, he connected with a high kick to the dome and pointed to the canvas. It seemed that the night would be short, but Holtzkin reinvigorated, channeled Flying Dutchman energy himself. And the course of events changed sharply. The next portion began with a kicking exchange. Opting to spare his own shins, Holtzkin fired a hook and added a spinning kick. Dodging the subsequent rotational present, the Surinamese Reaper showed that he wasn't averse to pirouettes either. 
As always, Rechian ramped up the pace at the midpoint. Low kick. High kick. Eat my soul, the foot kick. He never let his target out of sight, blasting from multiple angles. Knees were also on the menu. In the last round, Ursel showed no signs of fatigue. He unloaded more combinations, proving his superiority with each collision. This is not only Volvo, every single one, just pinpoint accuracy, especially that right And when the final bell rang, there was no doubt about the winner. In his third title defense, Rehian collided with Islam Murtazaev. The Dagestani knockout artist had won the amateur Muay Thai World Championship and made a name for himself as a pro with his spectacular tornado kick. What on earth? Oh my! What a kick! Analysts were in agreement that the champion had the most serious career challenge ahead of him. If I can if you want. And back your corner. They are not touching gloves. Islam used his lead leg like a whip. He's kickboxing. The champion, Ricky Nelson. To be exact, he's, got a, he's very patient with his shot. And threw hard intercepting punches. Round battle. So it'll be interesting. Aces through round one and two. And beat him based on his word because he's been. Breaking free from the pressure, he chained together a front kick and a back fist. The champion occasionally found the mark. But more often, it was the challenger succeeding off the back foot. Not allowing Rehian to get close. With so much conviction and strength. In the third stretch, Ursel adapted to the opponent's lunges. And his relentless pressure started to pay off. Somewhat drained, Mortazayev decided to engage in a knee battle, but it didn't bode well for him. And there's the right hand from Rekin in the Seeing the adversary gassing, the champ gained confidence and focused on the midsection. He's about to go to a Trying to back him up. With momentum on his side, Rehian catapulted a big right. And rained down with a flurry. Since he's already tired. Yeah, that knee came like he was doing it in a pool. It was super slow. Ignoring the incoming fire. Rehian going into beast mode now. He stuck to his course. Battering ramp going through a door. Notice the flashy tick to the Because Rekun the guts of Islam Murtazai has nice uppercut. Tick Dragon! Yeah, see, this is what usually happens with a lot of athletes. They start back. The Immortal fully lived up to his nickname. And almost left a hole in the fence. Screaming at him to do so. Islam attempted to turn the tide by whipping his signature kick. On the planet. The knees are coming into play now. And spinning for the bleachers. Make a silly mistake. But couldn't withstand the pressure anymore. Goes downstairs to the Ursel kept pursuing. Just this overwhelming volume from anyone super series athlete. I think the side landed. Jab two, no stunts behind. Leaving no shot unanswered. On his thumb, not desire. He's got no answers for Rekin Ursel. He booted the face at the end. And secured a decision victory. Still! The grueling bout once again proved that the champion could adjust on the fly against elite opposition and turn things around when push comes to shove. In the spring of 2022, Rehian accepted the challenge from Arian Sadikovic, aptly named Game Over. The German Bosnian striker boasted a respectable 23 and 3 record and was an avid finisher. The 
The champion warmed up with low kicks. Range on the right hand, the knee early on, the inside thigh kick from Ursul, and, and disrupted the foe's pressure with knees. Sadikovic switches, runs into a knee. Towards the end of the round, he racked up the volume. Side thigh, step through knee, it's all one way traffic to the champ so far. Body, body. And got very springy. Boxing comes from Ursul as he digs to the body, mixing in the knees now. I told you. The night promised to be easy, but in the second stretch, Arian finally closed the distance and used Rekian's spells against him. By the challenger. Faking a right knee, he switched to mid-air. The champion got wobbled. Here comes Sadakovic! Here comes the German battering ram! But dusting off the immortal proved to be a tough task. He said he needed to be he was going after Ersel. Even feeling groggy, Ersel did not get stuck in a defensive shell. He needed a challenger to step up and challenge. Sadikovic continued to walk forward with boxing combinations in the third. First time in a long time. Having been knocked down, the Surinamese warrior set out to return the favor. He punished the enemy's advances. Triples up on the lead hook. Put trust into his knees. Ursel's got a good guard. And did not shy away from exchanges. Let's go! Busy round for both men. Not a lot separating them. Oh, took there from Ursel. The fourth round opened with an artillery duel. Third round I thought was pretty even. Overwhelming the foe with volume. Rechian paid attention to the torso. Body, body, uppercut. As well as the limbs. He does look like Sneakovich has slowed down a little bit. Unable to weather the onslaught, oh, the, the challenger responded with a battle cry. <laughs> I give that round to Gathering his wits, Sadikovich tried to win the last portion, gritting his teeth. Challenger Arian game also kept throwing obstacles in his way. Could the streak be caught him on the counter? And obliged when asked for more. As the final minute approached, the tension reached its peak. This is with the inside five. Nice step across the outside leg kick. From Ursel, 45 seconds down. Causing a cannonade that lasted until the end. Ursel! Ursel pushes him off. Uppercut, knocks the head back. After five hard-fought rounds, Rechian emerged triumphant by unanimous decision. He once again showed not only championship skills, but also an iron will. Tasting the canvas for the first time, Ursel felt it necessary to give credit to his antagonist. I had to dig deep. My respect goes to Aryan, my opponent. Whoa, he's a warrior. A warrior like me. I think he will be one day champion. Believe me. You need practice, Donnie. He is back and he's catching by retaining the belt for the fourth time, Rehian set a one championship record for the most kickboxing title defenses. Seeking new challenges, he decided to test himself in Muay Thai and was rewarded with an instant shot at the vacant crown. Unlike in kickboxing, in this rule set athletes wore four ounce MMA gloves. Plus, elbows and foot sweeps were allowed. <laughs> Sin Zamut Clean Me stood in his way, boasting a five year long win streak. The Aquaman had been drowning people with one touch. But he's not making him pay. He's not oh, And, unlike Ursul, had dispatched Niki Holtzkin in just a round and a half. The general consensus was that in his element, he would deal with the Surinamese kickboxer. Sinsamu chose to feel it out by going high and low. In response, Rechian uncorked multiple overhands and punished a body kick attempt. The tie added punches to the equation. Tried a counter elbow and went back to low kicking. Following a cautious start, Ursul found the moment to explode. He pressured his foe into throwing 
and intercepted his attacks. But he knows that this is not the opponent that want to do that. Losing boxing exchanges, Sinsamut focused on chopping down the lead leg. The chess match continued. But it leans him right into the jab. Both men working the inside legs here. With neither side gaining a clear advantage. I wonder how that leg kick. Wow. To avoid any controversy on the cards, Rechian turned it up in the fifth. With 30 seconds left, Cleanly finally exploded, allowing Ursel to land his best strike of the night and grind out the decisive seconds. Ursel going to work, 20 seconds, the channel! As this tactical duel came to a close, Ursel was awarded a split decision win. Rechian became the third athlete in one championship's history to hold titles in two disciplines simultaneously. Having captured his second belt, he made it clear that he wasn't relinquishing the first one. You can call me Champ Champ now, Champ Champ. And I like to challenge myself. You know, life is a challenge. You have to challenge yourself, otherwise you don't live. I'm going to jump back and forward with Muay Thai and kickboxing. I'm going to defend two belts now. Whatever plans Rechian had in mind, the rematch was up next. The first fight was close enough to convince the promotion to set up part two. Just five months later, the immortal traveled to Thailand to face off against the challenger on his home turf and put the rivalry to rest. At the legendary Lumpini Stadium, Ursula exploded with a classic combo. Meanwhile, Sinsamut circled on the ropes, biting back with blistering kicks. The tension kept rising and the small ring left the contestants no choice but to engage. Rechian was clearly ahead in the boxing aspect, the champion, gets out the way the which played a pivotal role. A sniper-like hook echoed in the liver, putting an end to this chapter. And still! Reaffirming his superiority, in the summer of 2023, Rechian gave another ambitious contender a chance. Dmitry Menshikov had 30 scalps on his resume, was unbeaten for seven years. Jail for Menshikov's right hand, right hook there! Moreover, he was the second best welterweight in the world in the rankings, right below the champion himself. The Russian took control of the center, immediately declaring himself the ring general. But his defense that night was more like a sieve. The champion kept him honest with a jab from Southpaw, bypassed the guard with a deceiving knee, and invested into a slicing hook. Ursel got the fastest finish of his career in 46 seconds, handing Menchikov his first stoppage loss. It was Rehian's 22nd consecutive victory and his 10th under the one banner, which is currently the longest winning streak in the league. The Immortal summed it up by paraphrasing the good old line. Everybody has a plan until they face me. Rechian Ursel is undoubtedly the most dominant champion in one and one of the world's finest strikers. He doesn't pick opponents. Always delivers entertainment. Oh, got it. And keeps improving with each outing. This Surinamese Reaper shows no signs of slowing down and is full of ambition to set new records. An elbow, another elbow to right hand, and that's it. If you enjoyed the video, land a knee to the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. <laughs>